learning. The following program may be highly scientific, mind blasting, and disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Cellular respiration and photosynthesis. Photosynthesis transforms light energy into sugars. This occurs naturally in plants. Photosynthesis occurs in the chloroplast of a plant cell. General equation. Light energy plus 6 CO2 plus 6 water molecules produce glucose and 6 oxygen molecules. The first pathway is a light dependent reaction. This occurs in the thylakoid membrane in the grana. In non-cyclic, light energy or photons enter the chloroplast and strikes the photosystem too. This excites nearby electrons which move along the electron transport chain. From the missing space, water is stripped of its electrons and hydrogen protons by a water splitting enzyme. This creates a hydrogen proton concentration gradient and oxygen as a waste product. A different photon strikes photosystem 1, which will excite the nearby electrons. These electrons are taken by an electron carrier to any DPH reductase enzyme. The hydrogen protons are shot through the ATP synthase into the stroma. This creates enough energy for ADP and inorganic phosphates to produce ATP. The hydrogen protons and NADP positive produce NADPH. When there is not enough NADP positive, electrons will undergo cyclic phosphorylation. In this case, electrons will be sent back to the BF6 complex to take its place in photosystem 1. This creates energy for hydrogen protons to cross into the thylakoid space. The protons will shoot through the ATP synthase once again to create ATP and not NADPH as a product. General Equation Light energy plus two water molecules produces ATP and NADPH and oxygen as a waste product. The ATP and NADPH molecules are then sent to the Calvin cycle. The light independent reaction or Calvin cycle will create the sugars. The Calvin cycle occurs in the stroma of the chloroplast. The first part, carbon fixation, starts with CO2 binding with RBP using the Robisco enzyme. The product is immediately unstable, therefore it splits into two PGA molecules, now entering reduction. Two ATP phosphorylate each PGA molecule. Two NADPH are oxidized and inorganic phosphates are released. Thus leaving two G3P molecules. One G3P molecule will await another G3P for glucose production. The rest continue onto regeneration of RUBP using leftover ATP. This cycle occurs six times to create one glucose molecule from two G3Ps. Summary equation. Six RBP plus six CO2 plus 18 ATP plus 12 NADPH produces six RBP and glucose.
The glucose created is then used later in cellular respiration. C3 plants. Under normal conditions, C3 plants will open their stomatas during the day to release oxygen as waste and take in carbon dioxide. However, in extreme heat conditions, the stomata will close up to prevent water loss. This results in oxygen not being able to leave and carbon dioxide unable to enter, resulting in an efficiency. This is called photorespiration. C4 plants have adapted pathways in which carbon fixation and the Calvin cycle take place in different cells. Carbon fixation occurs in the mesophyll cells and the Calvin cycle in the bundle sheath cells to create glucose. Cam plants have adapted in which carbon fixation is divided from the Calvin cycle by the time of day. At night, the stomata opens to release oxygen as waste and taking carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is fixed at night and stored until daytime. During the day, the stomata close to prevent water loss and the Calvin cycle will then occur using the stored CO2. Cellular respiration, the process of converting stored energy into usable energy in plants and animals. Aerobic respiration, the catabolic pathways that require oxygen. This process occurs in the cytoplasm and the mitochondria. General equation, glucose plus 6 oxygen produces 6 carbon dioxide plus 6 water plus 36 or 38 ATP. The first stage is glycolysis, which takes place in the cytosol where glucose is catabolized. Glucose enters the cytosol. Two ATP molecules enter and phosphorylate glucose and produce two ADP molecules. Glucose splits into two G3P molecules. Two NAD positive molecules are reduced to form NADH and inorganic phosphate groups are added to glucose during this coupled reaction. The NADH are carried to the cristae for the electrode transport chain. Two ADP molecules are converted into ATP through the substrate level phosphorylation. Water molecules are removed from the G3P molecules. Two more ADP molecules are converted into ATP, producing two pyruvate molecules. Summary equation Glucose produces two pyruvate molecules plus a yield of two ATP plus two NADH plus two water molecules. Next is pyruvate oxidation. This occurs in the mitochondrial matrix where the pyruvate is transported. Since there are two pyruvate molecules, this process will happen twice, so only one pyruvate will be shown. Carbon dioxide is cleaved off. NAD positive is reduced to produce NADH. Coenzyme A binds with the two carbon molecule to produce acetyl coenzyme A. The Krebs cycle is a cyclic procedure where a product is reused as the reactant. This occurs in the mitochondrial matrix. Oxal acetate binds with the active site of the acetyl coenzyme A, releasing coenzyme A after the reaction. NAD positive is reduced to produce NADH. Carbon dioxide is then released. This process is repeated once more.
ADP and an inorganic phosphate have a coupled reaction with the 4-carbon molecule, creating ATP. Water is then added to the 4-carbon substance. FAD is reduced to produce FADH2. NAD positive is reduced to produce NADH. thus leaving oxal acetate as the product to be reused again with the second pyruvate. Summary Equation 2 pyruvate plus 2 CoA plus 2 oxal acetate plus 2 NAD positive produces 2 oxal acetate plus 6 CO2 plus 8 NADH plus 2 FADH2 plus 2 ATP. Oxidative Phosphorylation This occurs in the mitochondrial cristae which uses an electron transport chain. All the NADH and FADH2 produced in glycolysis, pyruvate oxidation, and the Krebs cycle are gathered at the electron transport chain for oxidation. NADH is oxidized by donating a hydrogen proton and two electrons to the protein carrier. The hydrogen proton is sent into the inner membrane space where it will create a proton concentration gradient. The electrons will be transported through the electron transport chain. FADH2 will also be oxidized by donating two protons and two electrons which will also be passed along. The hydrogen protons will be sent through the ATP synthase enzyme into the matrix. This creates enough energy to bind ADP and inorganic phosphates. Electrons and hydrogen protons will be gathered with the final electron acceptor, oxygen, where it will produce water. Summary Equation 10 NADH plus 2 FADH2 produces 32 ATP and 6 water molecules. Fermentation is a cellular respiration pathway in which not enough oxygen is present as the final electron acceptor. Alcohol fermentation occurs mainly in bacteria such as yeast. Glucose undergoes glycolysis as normally, producing 2 ATP, 2 NADH, and 2 pyruvate molecules. Since not enough oxygen is present, pyruvate will cleave off CO2. These acetaldehyde molecules will oxidize NADH, becoming ethanol. The NAD positive will then re enter glycolysis. Lactate fermentation occurs in muscle cells. Glucose undergoes glycolysis, as normally. This produces 2 ATP, 2 NADH, and 2 pyruvate molecules. The pyruvate will oxidize NADH, becoming lactate, or lactic acid, creating an oxygen debt. The NAD positive will re-enter glycolysis. Thanks for watching!